blow off valves because that's a common misconception. So you typically don't see blow off valves. Not never, some people run them, but it's very rare to see blow off valves in a diesel application. The reason why is because we don't have a throttle valve. There's nothing to block the airflow. So it just kind of gets backed up at the front of the motor. So, so if you think about a gas motor, you're opening the throttle and you're closing the throttle. That's letting air in and blocking it. So the reason you run that blow off valve is when, you, when you're making a bunch of boost and suddenly you chop the throttle off, the air backs up and it puts a bunch of surge into your turbo. You don't really get that in the diesel world. We don't still get surge occasionally, but it's really rare. Cause the air is just gonna chomp through that air anyways, because we don't have that. We don't have any throttle plate, no throttle valve at all. The way the, the power is controlled in a diesel is the more fuel we give it, the faster it'll rev. It's not like a gas, gas engine where you're really controlling it by air flow. So again, diesels actually rarely run a wastegate, but in the performance world, we run wastegates because when you start hitting nitrous, you'll overspool your turbo. So we run wastegates really just to control turbo speed in the first turbo, this high pressure turbo. 80, yeah, I mean, in, in the diesel world, we'll run 80, 100. Um, the Godfather one time ran over 240 PSI boost. So it, the diesel world is different than the gas world. So if you come from gas and you're like 20 pounds of boost is a lot, that's nothing. A stock diesel truck will do 30 PSI or more. Um, so drive pressure goes through the roof if you don't have a correct setup. So you have to have, if you're gonna be pushing a lot more air, you also have to have a big enough turbine on the manifold side of your uh, setup. So if you're, so I'm running an 87 turbine with the 10 housing. So people that have been on here a lot have heard me talk about, I actually have two housings to run with this setup. So right now we're gonna be running a 1.0 because I'm gonna be doing some stuff on the street and I just want a fun truck. When we're gonna start getting into the big boy dyno stuff, so like, like we've talked about, Whitley's kind of the first one, we're gonna be getting bigger and bigger and bigger. We're actually gonna size up our housing to a 1.1 housing to allow more flow to keep that, that back pressure in check, the drive pressure in check. The other piece that we have, if you're in the performance world, you typically run a wastegate. So I'm running a 45 millimeter hypergate. So if drive pressure is getting out of control, I can just burp it all off and I can just burn the weeds below the truck. 